Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on chess.com and I just got paired up playing a 3-0 game. So initially I wanted a 5-0, but here we are with a 3-0. No increment. So we're going to prepare to tuck the bishop away in h2. And yeah, we could have a bit of a race position coming up. I want to recapture with the pawn. So what race position am I talking about? Uh, C4 or castle? I'm going to go with castle first. Let's see if they resolve this tension. Okay, let's get on with it. C4, knight C3. I'm defending my bishop, so still I can take. On takes, takes knight E4, I have knight D5. B4 and C6, or excuse me, B4, C5. Let's just get a quick move in there. I, I, I'm still curious what uh, White's going to do with this tension. Okay. Let's play Queen here. This is preparing B4 at some stage. I'll shut it down now that the bishop is committed here. Will E4 be played or not? If not, I have E4. I'm going to go for it. My Queen isn't feeling so comfortable here anymore. Okay, so knight b6. My bishop's a bit out of play. Hmm. feel like I need to reposition this knight. Let's maybe head for the b4 square. Get out of this pin. Could be a sacrifice here. Oh, if it happens, it happens. Not too much I could really do about that. I have to defend here and watch out for knight b3. Covering e4, knight d3. This is a strong piece. I want to challenge it. Given time, I have bishop g3 into h5. He needs to do something else. It's a strong move. Heading for the weak point in my position. Could still look to challenge this guy. He will be tough to get rid of, though. Must be said. Let's start with knight f3. Most invasive piece for me is this guy right here. And I should probably challenge him further. I guess they're lining up bishop g5. Okay. And now bishop there. It's a good move. Okay, let's get my knight doing something else. Get back over here. I'm going to trade off this bishop somehow. It's going to be difficult to do. I'm going to try for bishop to e2. It's awkward to go into this pin, but... Yeah. Thought you might do that. Playing very fast. And let's go here. Maybe bishop f1 and then g3. Didn't really see that move coming. All right, they were threatening mate on g2. I doubt they'd go of repetition. Knight f4, bishop f1, there's knight takes h3. Okay, where are the tactics? Any tactics here? Let's drop the bishop back. My queen is opposite their king. Bishop takes pawn, followed by a pawn push might be something. Um, I'm really tempted to just do that. Let's break over here, though. This bishop's unprotected. 45 seconds. This is a soft point. I'll take with the bishop. Be careful of g2. Hitting the bishop now. I think I have everything defended. Let's get really active with the queen. Queen takes pawn here. I'm on the rook. There might be a push here. It's tense. Um, could I allow that and then play g3? I think so. Going with the sack. Well, this is, this is, um, uh, yeah, I think they have to try for that. I'll tuck my key in the corner, though, no? Evening out on the clock. Let's offer a queen exchange. Let's go here. Okay, they're moving.
moving fast. Still. My queen is very misplaced. Yeah. I think I have everything covered over here. Still have everything covered. Not sure what that's doing. Tough to find a good move here. Okay. Queen f2. I'm getting chased around. Their knight is fantastic. They could get the exchange back. 8.6 seconds. Okay, they're giving me the dark squares. Queen e3. This check. I'm going to get bishop g5 in. Ah! Not a lot of time. Got to do time burners. <laughs> That's what it's come down to. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. They're down on time. Wow. Oh, man. What an ugly, ugly end for a 3-0 game. Messy, 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 messy. Um, I should probably have uh, automatic queen on. <laughs> I didn't want to have to select what piece to promote to. Oh man, I was under some heavy, heavy fire. Now you—that's tough adjustment going from five zero to a three zero. Man, that was an ugly end. But let's have a look at that middle game. Actually, before I go into the analysis, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this is this is my first thought: is when I played a three, was this really necessary? It struck me as a little bit awkward to see uh, a six. Usually, by right around this point, in fact, instead of committing the rook to e eight, black will already commit, pushing here, and then it's just a, a big race. Where, you know, well, you could still see this. Where I'm heading on the queen side, I'm looking for this kind of play. And black is looking for this kind of stuff. Sacrifices over here and such. But the tension was maintained, so that struck me. Mm, I don't know. I, I saw that this was a little bit different, so I'm, I'm questioning whether or not I should have played H or uh, A3. Could I have done something a bit more useful? Hmm. Let me bring up the analysis. Okay, so let's just kill the engine for a moment. This is the board I want. So, I'm white. Could I have done something other than A3 is the first question I have for myself. So right here. Right when I saw something I wasn't familiar with, I went with A3. Hmm. What could I do that's more productive? Queen c2, maybe? Uh, well, how did it play out in the game? When I played queen c2, eventually we had a big structure shift, and my queen was exposed along the c-file. Hmm. I think, I think a3 is okay. It's a pretty useful move. It's not committing the queen just yet. And maybe I could do without queen c2 in this game. Yeah. After a3, if I said a3, why not go with b4? Yeah, I don't think I should commit my queen just yet. b4, I think, would save me a lot of uh, trouble. And then on bishop b7, maybe then I could consider d5. Yeah, maybe something like this is an improvement. In fact, what might be a better square for my queen is b3 instead of c2. So, once I get in a3 and b4, I think I like the queen post here. The b file I don't think is going to open up, or it can't open up as quickly. Um, black cannot force open the b file, let's just say. 
I can force open the C file with the C6 push, but not the B file. So I think my queen would be a little bit more comfortable. I'm looking into this because I waste a lot of time with my queen. Went to C2, got out of the pin. She was, she ran a marathon in this game, really. And uh, she was kind of struggling to find a target. The opponent had all their base points covered. And even though I was up the exchange, they had an attack against my king, as you saw. Okay, so I went with queen c2. I think I think right around this point we could put on the engine. Let's just have a quick look through the beginning. No, just checking for blunders here. There's nothing, nothing missed for either, either side. Something close to equal. Get in c4. Knight c3. Let's go with bishop g3. I didn't touch on this, but the reason I went to uh, h2 instead of g3 is that sometimes there can be a quick knight e4. And so I wouldn't want that to strike at my bishop. So a3. No issues. I guess you could play a lot of different things here, but... Wants to go with the d5 right now, though. I, I think I would still play how I did in the game, meaning wait for the bishop to fiend keto and then slam the door. Make sure he's pulled off of this. Because if it's going to close down in the center, the direction black would want to go in is with f5. And the bishop would no longer be there supporting f5. So if I'm going to play d5, I want to wait for the bishop to commit. It's the short story. Queen c2. d5 now. I guess I could have considered capturing, huh? I just went with e4. Maybe I'm in a fine position to take and then throw rook on the d-file. Okay. There's an alternative. I was just playing against the bishop with this move. Just want to reinforce the d5 point. But now my queen is a little bit awkward. b5. Yeah. This knight is a Pretty big pest. Knight c5, knight b6, the d4, or I should say the uh, c4 and c5 squares are nice posts for the knights. Hmm. Yeah, and he's a bit off, out of play. I would, In this structure, I would really like to have the bishop here, where he's contributing on the queen side, and he's not just staring at this pawn here. I don't think I'm ever in a position to try and play for f4. There's a lot of action happening on the queen side at this stage. So I do some repositioning here. What is it suggesting? He wants to get the bishop right into the ball game. I might as well regard the bishop on h2 as if he's still on the back rank, undeveloped. So, I mean, it's, it's a little bit long-winded, but maybe I could pin. Maybe I could think about getting to e3 one day. It just takes forever to do that. But yeah, he's way out of play. And I don't think I'm uh, in a good position to deal with this changing of the structure. So black has the has an edge here. Yeah, I thought even right around this point there's an exchange sacrifice. This should be something close to equal. Well, it's more than that. Just likes this. Yeah, rook takes knight. That's what the computer wants to go for here. I thought that that was a possibility, because it's more than just a pawn. I think this one's going to be tracked down soon, because they could just hammer away at it. Queen c2, there's a tempo against my queen, but going here, adding another piece on this, I'm never going to be able to defend that. So they had that opportunity to give up the rook for knight and grab a couple pawns and doesn't get any more... Uh, those are two pretty important pawns. Two center pawns on top of it. Yeah, I'm worse. Queen e3. They did some fancy knight moves. Let's see if there were any killer shots missed. Number one priority. Try and get rid of that guy. So I'm heading for knight f3 and knight to e2. Knight f3. Knight e2. 
takes, takes. Yeah, bishop g5, g3. I thought about g3. I didn't voice it in the game. It looks really weird to do that to your bishop, but it at least, it at least stops the minor pieces from pivoting on f4. Okay. I'm wondering, once it did turn better for me, how I could have converted it. They're doubled on the only open file. Felt really awkward to do that, but felt like I needed to transfer my queen. Queen b3 wants to take out the bishop. I would have been fine with that. I see this knight as super valuable. In my position, f4 is a really strong square. This is my bad bishop. Okay, didn't go for that. Opening up a new square for the queen on g5. I just want to tuck my bishop back on f1 here, but I can't do that right now because that would run into knight takes h3. Dropping one pawn and another in the exchange. So... Wants to take out the knight. I played bishop g3. I wasn't so quick to give up my number one bishop. Computer seems to always be suggesting knight takes bishop, but... Wasn't happening. And knight f4, rook b8. Ooh. That's a really weird move to make. Rook to b8. Maybe right around this point I turn better? Yeah. I take first. I guess I could have held my ground with capturing. Yeah, you know what? Come to think of it. With this exchange of my e-pawn for what? What happened there? E-pawn is exchanged... Oh, I could highlight. I don't know why I wasn't highlighting the whole way. The e-pawn can be... It was exchanged for the g-pawn. And there was a lot of heat thrown at my king. So, I should probably hold this tension and get on with a4 right now. That would have been an improvement in this position. Of course, right around this point, I think it's bullet mode for both of us. I take, and then play a4. Well, I thought at least. When's a4 coming soon? Knight f6, a4 now. All right, I pick up a pawn, and it wants to take with the knight. The knight. Why didn't I go with the knight? I was afraid of dropping this pawn, because as it is right now, I have three. Each of us has three pieces on it. So that's why I took with the bishop. But I guess the other way to look at it is that I'm taking a pawn, and I'm striking at now a weak point. Maybe even knight f7 one day. I give this guy up, but maybe that's not so bad. If the position, maybe I can, uh, uh, you know, given more time, of course, some uh, uh, thought process that could have uh, better influenced my play here was, yeah, let's just go pawn for pawn. Let's just open it up more and more because I have the safer king. Group of three pawns, you just have one. More pawns exchanged. More files are open, more diagonals. But yeah, I didn't I didn't have the time to really think that one through, obviously. And now I'm feeling the pressure against my king. What could I have done different with my queen? Yeah. It's really tough to get. Okay, so there's something here. Knight b5 now. Striking at d6. What did I do? I played that in there with my queen. I guess that's okay as well. Now they give up that. This is plus two. So right around here, what could I have done better? Tough to find something with the time pressure. I just instinctually just drop back here. Wants to take the knight. Ah, oh. take the knight and then take on d6. And this is this is very easy actually. Because when this pawn drops, this piece that was terrible is now probably one of my best pieces. It's ready to sweep into e5. With check. Yeah, that would crumble really fast. <clears throat> it should have ran through my mind to just give some material back. I'm up the exchange at this point. Rook takes knight. He's a strong piece. He's in my house. Get rid of him, and then crash through on d6. And there shouldn't be a way for black to hold that together. I go for the queen exchange. 
And okay, still just a nibble better. <laughs> but uh, that knight is what a pest. It's tough to get at this base point now. My rooks are not really doing anything. King h1, anything else missed? Let's go with f3 right now. Yeah. Now they're better. With bishop to d3. Ooh. Undermining my defender. G2. Yeah. A lot of stuff will be missed. Anything else? Yeah. I guess not. Yeah, it's just bullet mode at this point. And... Queen f2. I'm still holding some... I still have something here. I have to get my rooks doing something, though. I, f I don't feel like any of my pieces are productive in this position. Bishop to b5. Rook c8 and then rook to e2. No... No, no quick way to mobilize the pieces. I felt like I had to do this. Get a rook on the seventh. Giving up the exchange now. Giving it up, giving it back. And I could just take on f4 right now. Instead of capturing first. Because now I have to worry about this knight giving a bunch of checks. It's still better for me. And I think I had, I don't know, eight seconds here. Too little time, and this was just a complete blur. I don't want to look at this. <laughs> I was just trying to click on the queen when I promoted there. I have to change that in my settings, but what a wild finish. I had point two on that one. Interesting game. Um, again, I'd be thinking more about b4 before queen c2. I should also look more into simply capturing in this position and changing the structure, playing over here, and also mobilizing my bishop a lot faster than I did in the game. Just some quick points with this 3-0 time control, not my favorite time control, I prefer 3-2 over anything really, I prefer 3-2 even over the 5-0 time control, but 3-0 it was for this game. As usual, feel free to leave any feedback to this wild game, wild finish, in the comments section below. And I hope you got something of it. That's all for now. Take care. Bye.